So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This quality is really bad right now because I'm using my phone and I'm using the snow app so I look decent, you know, because like I um I just woke up from a sleep and uh it's been a really long time since I uploaded a video of me talking but you know sometimes it just hits me I just wanna make a video about it. So like just now when I was asleep like right before I took my nap I watched the show The End of the World which is a Netflix original series I believe and let's just say it was the best show I've watched this year like the best TV show by far this year and let me tell you why okay the snow app has this cutting thing so like every one minute I have to like cut so I'm gonna make this like less than five minutes and the brightness keeps adjusting itself it's so annoying anyway let me just give you some theories that I have about this show and why I feel like it's good. I know this is really unnecessary and really extra but I feel like I like to do reviews so I'm gonna do a review about this show. It starts off with a pilot as James being a sociopath, thinking he's a sociopath in the beginning but actually I don't think he is. Technically he was just someone who was scared to fall in love and what happened was this show gave a really realistic way of thinking in our minds like how some of us think in our minds i don't know if you can relate to the show means that it gets to you and you it gets into your mind because you can relate to it because it's it's something that we do on our daily lives it's just that some of us don't notice it you know like every emotion they express is emotions we feel inside that's why i feel like it was a really really good show because it kind of described how i felt also not only that the show actually portrays both sides of the emotions of falling in love like it actually shows the realistic thinking of how people fall in love like first Elisa is so scared to fall in love and James just doubts everything because of his past traumas like how we relate to our everyday lives of how we hold grudges towards people those emotions actually relate in some way that's what I feel that's why I feel like a lot of people are very connected to the show me personally I'm really really connected as you can see because look I am making a video about the show which is really extra but second point is because I'm really really bored now and I have nothing to do like really nothing to do before I go for dinner so yeah my class kind of ended early today so then moving on the show also shows how they committed a lot of crimes and they ran away from it but one thing I found smart about this show right was like they only had 8 episodes so those 8 episodes right in those 8 episodes they ran away as much as they can they lost their ways and then they found ways back together they tried to reconcile with family but failed so in the end she realized so many things that like I was on tumblr reading all the you know little post pins thing you know I don't know what you call it and then like I started to realize that a lot of people are actually going like really all out about this show like this show is actually a good show so I decided okay I'm not gonna type I'm just gonna talk you know so like I don't know if any of you guys here watching this video can relate to me but I just feel like I can relate to this show a lot so uh, if you can maybe leave a comment below and um yeah I feel also that season 2 should happen let me tell you why season 2 should happen this is point 2 of why season 2 should happen season 2 has not been announced by Netflix but I hope it does because I have so many questions like what happened to James what's gonna happen to Elisa what's gonna happen to everyone basically because they left the show with a blank black screen and it was good but I feel like you know they should have a season 2 Netflix please have a season 2 I'm not I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who wants a season 2 because I've been seeing a lot of people asking for a season 2 tweeting about a season 2 Anyway guys, this video is completely unnecessary and extra and I and I have no idea why I'm doing this but I feel like this is my original review about the end of the world. Beep beep world. <laughs> so yeah, um, you don't have to enjoy this video. It's just me talking less than 5 minutes. I just said 5 minutes, right? So this is going to be 5 minutes. And if you guys like this video, maybe just give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to start like posting videos again. I don't know about what but I'm going to try. So yeah, thank you. Bye!